guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to the OVA of Over the Moon for you. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. It feels like it's been years since this show came out. Oh. No, baby. All I hear is it's a dirty UG now. <laughs> It's an OVG, and um, the one dude from Sounds of Life who I have, like, the biggest crush on. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> I would be a girl with the opening again. Because it's been such a long time since I've heard this. I mean, since the show ended last year, and it feels like, honestly, it's from... It feels like two years and such. And I remember like the day, you know, the OVA for this was announced and saying that it wasn't coming out to next year. And I was like, damn, that's a long time away. Then Friday came and it wasn't even on my mind. And because I had to record something, I got a comment saying, am I going to watch this? And I'm like, this is already <laughs> So I was like, yeah. I was like, I gotta get this done before Patreon shows. And it is 2.25 in the morning on Saturday. And I was like, I still gotta watch Pretty Year before I technically go to bed. Even though knowing myself, I'm probably gonna stay up for the next few hours. Probably rewatch American Horror Story like I always do. And then go to bed. Watch my Patreon shows tomorrow. Because I need to get that ish done. Um, and then do my other Patreon shows on Tuesday. <laughs> SNS. Oh, you got her an iPhone! Oh. oh! You could go on Pinterest. Because your girl, your, yeah, your girl likes going on Pinterest sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. But you know, games, you can play a whole bunch of apps, get a whole bunch of photos. <sighs> oh, it's easy. <laughs> oh. and simple just like NASA oh like what if she writes his name in like text messages hubby oh <laughs> no! I I would be fangirling with a bottle of juice in my hand. She's so cute. Bing bong. What the? <laughs> yeah. Oh 
my babies. I'm kind of afraid to see what your profile picture is, though. No fucking way! It makes me, you know, that's just a reminder, Deja. Maybe I need to go ahead and continue watching Detective Conan. <laughs> oh, God. Because, yeah, I haven't watched the newest movie, but I don't think it's really out yet. I should check. Oh. No. Hey. <laughs> oh, poor baby, she gonna be here by herself. the one sad thing about being in a relationship you know when somebody's gone when your significant other is gone it just sucks especially like when you're in that like quote unquote honeymoon phase like you always want to be together like 24 7 of course she does <laughs> oh god that just reminds me of me and my first boyfriend <laughs> God. No. He sure is. And besides, you guys could probably FaceTime later. No, I don't think so. Come on, Tsukasa. Poor baby. I know that feeling. Oh, of course. That honeymoon phase, boo. Oh, come on, Casa. Just, I mean, one or two or three or four. And then that's it. And then, you know, before you go to bed, you send them another one. And then, yeah. <laughs> that's the one thing I love about her. She's so considerate of her baby. And I'm like, ah! Yeah, and he could be busy. No, 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 no. He just could be busy. <laughs> I know! This is not what we're talking about, Bill. <laughs> exactly.
Oh, baby. Hmm. I know that feeling, too. Oh, no. <laughs> it's cute, though. Give me a song. Oh, that's so cute. It's just natural. Exactly. I mean, but you could be smart and just sleep in the middle so that you have, like, half yours, half of his, and it would smell like him, and you're comfortable, and you'll be able to sleep more. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wonder if she'll actually like sleep walk. Yeah, cause he's not there with you. Oh, baby. Poor Nasa, you know, he was busy with Gojo Sensei and Nobara, Megamine, doing, you know, Jujutsu stuff, and he come in late, early, early in the morning. Oh, baby, yeah. Why'd she be up? Oh, honey. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't be sorry about that. It happens to almost every couple.
mean, I, but I mean, Jesus. But all. So fucking cute. Oh my god. Oh, it was so romantic and adorable at the same time. Oh, honey. <laughs> Hormonal. <laughs> Hormones. It happens to all of us. Yeah, most of us shy girls are like that, where it's like, yes! And then the next day we're like, no, we're going to deny that. Besides, they just had, like, a big, heavy makeout session. Then, you know, you could just watch... <laughs> oh. I thought she was going to poke her stomach. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, they're adults, that's what adults do. <laughs> of course, because they're mean. I don't know, 
not like that. I mean, yes, you two are close. Oh, poor baby. Well, damn. She went out like that. I mean, but you know what? I have two. <laughs> I am my father's child. really determined. <laughs> oh my god i miss this show so freaking much and just to have one more episode before we officially once again say goodbye or farewell to these characters it's sad but then at the same time it's like damn we had a i think this was what a 12 episode series and i was like officially 14 with the ova and such i mean it, it, it had a good run it really truly did this is one of those shows that i loved so much and just mm, thinking about this it remembers like it, it just reminds me of how every friday i was in hell with having like so many shows all in one freaking day and i was like bruh i can't do this <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I was like, oh my God, because it was like, at the, there was a point in time where I was like, this is too damn much for me. And I think it was like week two, week two, three or four for this show <clears throat> when it aired. And I had, I know I hadn't tweeted. I said it in like a, in the comment. I said, I think I'm going to, because somebody thought I was going to completely drop this show. And I was like, no, 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 no. What I meant was put the show on hiatus wait until like the final week of the show when it airs binge the like oh, okay no so like for an example let's say i did drop this show or put the show on a hiatus i would have still had videos but then i would have waited until the final week of the show <clears throat> to release episodes like whatever to the second to last episode and then i would have been back for the final but so <laughs> i remember people were like really truly upset they're like oh my god no like, please don't do that and it, it was hard because I had this Fire Force and I think Rina Girlfriend um, all at the same time. So it was like, what, summer of last year? And, and it was very, it was very, very, my, my Fridays were fucking nuts in it. And I was like, how in the world am I going to survive this? And Because typically I'm okay with doing it, but like, I, I don't know what the hell happened around that time. I think it was just like hella too much for me but i mean honestly for this to come back for an episode and it being <laughs> about a smartphone was so fucking cute i mean also like the fact is yes they were gone they were away from each other for almost like a full whole day a full like almost 12 hours and he didn't come home until the wee hours of the morning 4 a.m jesus so I mean, of course he's going to be missing her, and she's going to be missing him, and they're going to do things to, you know, commemorate their marriage, because they're a fucking couple and stuff, and it's, that's what you do when you're in a marriage and stuff, but then, like, the one thing that I love about Sukasa and Nasa in a nutshell is that they are so, they love each other so much, and it kind of, like I said, it is a honeymoon phase for them. They're, like, what I like about them <clears throat> versus, like, a typical 
couple in an anime cartoon tv show whatever they're gonna always be in that honeymoon phase there's never gonna be a moment where they're not gonna like slowly but surely fall in love with each other um unlike someone god who should i use as an example oh god there's so many couples um shit Uh, okay, that could literally be any other couple who, like, one season they're 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 destined to be with be with each other no matter what. Then season three they break up. Prime, <laughs> like, <laughs> love isn't real anymore and such. And so you get to always see it with them. And the other thing that I like about them is like, yes, they're both not really essentially needy, but you've I think all of us have had like someone in a relationship that we've dated as our significant other who has been needy and then you're also needy with them as well and you just want to be around each other so freaking much and sometimes even when you get your first boyfriend or, or girlfriend whoever after that you are still almost needy to that person i remember like <laughs> me and my one of my boyfriends um a couple a while before we broke up we would always text each other on snapchat and you know ish so I remember one time he was going to go spend some time with his um, Navy friends because they were all living in this like um, somewhat of a dorm together. And I said, okay, all right, I'll talk to you later. So um, I'm sitting there watching TV, whatever. And I go on my Snapchat just taking pictures of myself like I normally do because, you know, girl. <laughs> and such and I I was we hadn't really maybe talked for like maybe an hour and 30 minutes and he comes right back and I was like what are you doing here and he was like oh I could tell from your snapchat that you look lonely and bored and such and I was like no 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 I'm just sitting here watching tv and spending time with my dog and, and ish and just having you know like that moment to myself or just moments by yourself because you know it like as much as you love being by yourself you still also love being around someone and so when it is someone you really truly love and care about when they're not around you of course you feel empty and upset and you want to be around that person and you're gonna feel bored and then your significant other is going to see that and they're going to want to hurry up rush out so that they can be with you again and that's really mostly no matter what, the most powerful thing about love. That is true fucking love. And it's honest. And and I love that. Really, I would love to see this show get a second season because it, it's just so good. I don't know where they currently are in the manga. This also makes me want to read the manga and such. I remember when I went to, I think, when was the last time I went to Barnes and Noble? It was like, when the hell did I watch that one show? Um, Not Bofity. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, let me look. It's it. We're mm, no. It's right here. No, that's a envelope. This show. No, wrong freaking show, DJ. <laughs> Hold on. Let me try again. Are all of them up here? No. Oh my God. Where are they? Oh, I'm stupid. They're on the other side. <laughs> All right. This book. Yes? Yes. So when I, I think, like, by the time I watched Kuma Kuma Bear, um, and when I went to Barnes, I think, no, yeah, almost like a week before I started watching Kuma Kuma Bear, went to Barnes and Nobles and found, I think, the first book of this series. And I haven't been to Barnes and Nobles since, like, <sighs> three four months from now in this and i'm a girl who always go to a damn bookstore because you know i like to fucking read but yeah i should have bought it but I, I really want this show to get a second season i mean i get it because especially because of the say you of itarori UG is going to be busy you know recording season two of Jujutsu kaisen and probably anything else that he's going to be in from now up until whenever he has for like the next few years and such and it really also depends on like i said where this series is like manga wise like if it is concluding or if it's like 
that very close, like, that much to, like, the current chapters of the series. And, yeah, I totally understand why they're like, oh, okay, we can't really do anything yet, but we want to do something. So maybe in about, like, maybe two or three years from now, I mean, you know, you can't really lose hope. Look at the freaking, um... What's that one Demon Lord series is finally getting a second season? After, like, what, eight years? So, yeah, never, never give up on hope because you never know what the hell is finally going to get a second season or, you know, an, an, uh, an <laughs> I can't say the word adaptation. There you go. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards the OVA of Over the Moon for you. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys all officially next time if this show gets a second season or for whatever the heck is going to be coming out on my channel next. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!